Hello and happy Wednesday from the starting line ports for the second edition of what we're calling Midweek Message of Hope. And today we are going to be reading from Psalm 139, 17 through 18. How precious to me are your thoughts, O God! How vast is the sum of them! Were I to count them, they would outnumber the grains of sand. When I awake, I am still with you. So one of the things that that got me thinking about a lot was thoughts and more specifically opinions. Right now we're getting exposure to a lot of different opinions out there. We're getting different opinions through news. We're getting different opinions through our friends and family. We're getting different opinions through what we see on our social media as we scroll through our feeds. We're even getting different opinions in funny ways through memes and we're getting different opinions about how we feel about what's going on in our world day to day by our own thoughts. And sometimes those thoughts are hopeful, sometimes those thoughts are anxious, sometimes those thoughts are just very confusing and we don't know what's next. What I think is the most important thing in all of this is to think about God's thoughts. As it says in Psalm 138 here in the first verse, where it says, how precious to me are your thoughts, O God. And it says that they're vast and that they're numerous and unable to count, that there's so many that they're, they're like the grains of sand. So I wanted to think about what God's thoughts look like. One of the first things I thought about was God tells us in Deuteronomy 31.6 that he'll never leave or forsake us. God's got us through all of this. He is, he is on our side, he is with us, and he's going to see us through. Uh, God says in Psalm 23, he says, through the valley of the shadow of death, that he was going to be with us through the valley, and we're going to get out of the valley. God also says numerous times throughout the whole Bible, do not be afraid. And one of my favorites of God's thoughts is in 1 John 4.18, where he says that there is no fear in love, because perfect love will cast out all fear. And I think that's really important to to just live in right now is that God's love is going to cast out all our anxiousness all our fears it's going to blot out all the the other opinions that we see coming around us and and it should give us hope and the best way to do that is to spend lots of time right here and whatever your bible looks like could be on your phone hopefully you've got one like this if you don't I want to get you one um Just spend time in his word. We've got plenty of time to do it. Uh, There's probably never been a time I can think of in my own life where I haven't had this much time to just spend time with God. And I I pray that you're making a habit of that. Uh, Yesterday I posted about how we can be better about prayer. And now I just want to encourage you to to prayerfully be in the word and um, find time to do that for yourself. And this has been your midweek message of hope. And I pray we don't have to do this a whole lot, that we can start meeting together midweek and on Sundays and breakfast clubs very soon. Love you guys and just pray that you have a wonderful rest of your week. And um, let's pray to close us out. Father, we thank you for the chance to gather your name, whether it's through video, uh, as we send out prayers from our hearts to each other. however we're able to find togetherness in um, small numbers as we get through this. God, we pray for our leaders, uh, local, state, national, international leaders. Pray that you be with our president, our, our governor, uh, all congressmen and women, and just, just pray that you give them wisdom and peace and clarity through all this. We pray that you be with our healthcare professionals, that um, you keep them safe in all this, and uh, give them all the things they need. Pray that you be with um, our families, and our friends, and just uh, ourselves and each other. And pray be with those that are are ill from this virus, that you bring healing to them. And God, we just love you, and we thank you for another day to be alive and to, to be your children. In your son's name, amen.